Well, great news. If you want to fly from Denver to Paris, you can fly one way for as little as $300. But CBS4 investigator Brian Moss found some Denver and DIA officials recently paid 30 times that much. Brian's here now. These fares are staggering. Well, indeed, $9,000 to fly one-way business class from Denver to Paris. It turns out unveiling low-cost flights was a very expensive proposition. This was big for Denver, getting low-cost carrier Norwegian Air to start non-stop flights between Denver and Paris. This appears to be a letter from Norwegian Air CEO Bjorn Schu. In this campy video from last July, the mayor and airport director announced the deal. The Norwegian Air will begin flying non-stop between Denver and Paris. April 9th. A delegation of mayoral appointees, DIA officials, economic development administrators and others jumped on the inaugural flight from Denver to Paris. But not everyone went with the low-cost carrier. We obtained these records showing two days earlier. DIA's executive office manager and the airport's travel administrator flew from Denver to Paris on Lufthansa business class. Each of those flights cost nearly $9,000 one way. The next day, DIA's deputy director of aviation flew first class from Denver to Chicago, then to Paris on United Business Class. His one-way ticket cost almost nine grand. After five nights in France, the delegation headed home, but not on a low-cost carrier. The mayor and six members of his inner circle and DIA officials flew Lufthansa business class from Paris to Frankfurt, then Denver. Each seat cost nearly $7,000. For those seven city officials, the tab to fly home was just over $47,000. Jesus Christ. Susan Barnes-Gelt. It's just stupid. A former Denver City Council member who helped author Denver's ethics code says it's ludicrous to spend $16,000 in public money for round-trip flights to Europe. I mean, it's a joke. There's no serious answer because no one does that. So nobody sees anything wrong with $9,000 one way? No, I think that we acknowledge it is an expensive flight and we want every opportunity to look for lower flights and save money where we can. That's not always possible. Stacy Stegman speaks for DIA and says there's nothing wrong with spending public dollars on these kinds of fares. And we want to give our employees time to rest on a plane so that they can get there and be effective for work. DIA policy allows airport employees on overseas flights of more than five hours to upgrade to business, regardless of price. So you have staff members who flew round trip for $16,000. It's no doubt that this is expensive. Stegman insists it's important to fly business class to support airlines that fly non-stops out of Denver. And she says the economic return is massive. In a few minutes, we will be ready to start our boarding process. But we found other airports don't let their staffs upgrade. Atlanta, Chicago, Minneapolis, and Austin's airport all said they don't allow business upgrades no matter how long the flight. And Los Angeles International said they only allow business class on flights over 14 hours. But several major airports do allow business class upgrades for their staffs on longer flights. With these sticker shock inducing fares, one critic says this policy needs to be grounded. The message is we don't care what you think. Now, late this afternoon, Mayor Michael Hancock issued a statement about what we revealed saying these costs were, in his words, too high. The airport must demonstrate greater accountability to the public. We are making changes going forward to address these concerns. And I also checked a few hours ago, right mm -hmm. now a family of four could fly from Denver to Paris round trip in just a couple of weeks from now yeah. for under $5,000, about four. half of one of those one-way tickets. With CBS, have you ever tried to expense a $15,000 ticket? I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Well, we want to hear from you. If you have a news tip that you think Brian should look into, let us know about it. Email us through cbsdenver.com. You can also call us, the number right there on your screen, 303-863-8477.